Hey everybody, it's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. Welcome to my uh, channel. Today's video, it's all about the Carnival Fantasy and the Carnival Inspiration. It looks like they're headed for scrap. All indications, nothing official, but oh, the signs are there. Um, a lot of activity going on right now with these two ships. I'll tell you all about it. Thank you all of you out there who are following me i really appreciate those of you who are subscribing to my channel traveling with bruce giving my videos thumbs ups i uh, hope you like them thank you for your comments as well i also want to say thank you to all of you folks who are following me on facebook if you want to hang out with uh, twbers between videos head over to facebook there's over 5,000, 5,100 now and also on instagram uh, Follow me there as well. Thanks, everybody, for your support. All right. Uh, today's date, July the 13th, 2020, and the news uh, broke a couple of hours ago that the Carnival Fantasy and the Carnival Inspiration are both in Curacao right now in what is known as the container shipping area. They're, they're not in the pretty part of the port at all. And... Uh, for the last uh, few days, a, a number of uh, containers have been placed on board the uh, the ship's uh, decks, and they have been filled up with all kinds of equipment that are being taken off the ships. In other words, uh, Carnival is, in effect, stripping the ships of all valuables. And this makes sense because the uh, cruise line announced last week that they were going to reduce the size of their entire fleet by 13 ships. So taking into account the Carnival line and the Holland America line, Princess, and Cunard, and all these other lines. Uh, but in the case of Carnival, these older um, fantasy class ships, uh, the Carnival Fantasy itself was built in 1990. So it's a 30-year-old ship, used to hold 2,056 passengers and 920 crew. Inspiration was built in 96, so 24 years old. Uh, same kind of size for crew and passengers. So what we're dealing with here is... Um, the stripping of anything that isn't attached to the ship basically is how this is going. Uh, so in the bars, all the glasses, the steins, the wine glasses, the, you know, the equipment that they can take, all of this will be taken off of these two ships and will be reassigned and redistributed to other ships in the fleet. It allows Carnival, in effect, to... Uh, uh, you know, take the dishes, the forks, the knives, the uh, linens, the tables, the furniture. Of course, the best stuff. I mean, if there's furniture with rips in it, they won't they won't bother. They'll let that go to scrap anyway. But anything that can be reused on any of the other ships, they're going to uh, take off now, put them in these containers, and the likelihood is is they will likely bring other ships into the port that will, in effect, pick up these containers, uh, or they'll unload the containers on other ships uh, or perhaps uh, they may uh, literally bring in a container ship to pick up all the containers and then take the, those containers to maybe Fort Lauderdale um, and store them there just off site and then uh, you know once in a while like say every next the next few months a ship will come in for uh, a day or so one of the carnival ships for fuel and food they'll bring the ship in and uh, they'll bring a couple of containers to the port and uh you know, load this ship up with uh, 500 wine glasses and, uh, you know, six, 600 sets of dishes and, uh, you know, another 200 sets of linens, on and on it goes. I mean, it's, it's a big logistical operation here to salvage what you can from these ships, uh, even the televisions in the, in the cabins, the televisions in the uh, sports bar areas, all the slot machines from the casinos, they'll be stripped out. Uh, the roulette wheels, uh, the ATM machines will come out, obviously. Anything like that of value that they can use somewhere else, they will take out of these ships. So by the time they sail these ships away for final scrapping, they will be really just a skeletal uh, unit. Uh, apparently, the uh, fantasy, uh, Carnival Fantasy, is uh, registered to go to Turkey for its next uh, sailing. It's going to Izmir, and just north of Izmir is a shipyard specializing in scrapping ships called the Al Aliaga. Uh, it's a A-L-A-A-L-I-A-G-A. -A -A -A. That's how it's pronounced or spelled. Aliaga. 
uh, shipyard. So they're likely going to take it there and have it scrapped. It's just, uh, it's a sad sight to see. It's a sad thing to say that, you know, these beloved ships that have probably sailed millions of cruise passengers since they were first launched. A lot of you who watch my shows uh, probably have been on these ships, or you certainly know of someone who's been on these ships. And a lot of you uh, were a lot younger when you probably took your first cruise uh, on these ships way back when. Probably even our parents, there's probably a lot of our uh, uh, you know relatives who are no longer with us who were probably on these ships in the early days of their existence. And of course, when the fantasy and the inspiration, when these ships hit the water back in the uh, 90s, these were some of the largest ships in the world. Uh, keep in mind that the, uh, the uh, SS Norway uh, that Norwegian bought out and was running, uh, it handled 2,100 passengers, and that was at that time the world's largest cruise ship. Well, here are these guys uh, coming in at 2,050 uh, passengers, and they could have easily gone to 22, 2,400 with, uh, you know, quadruple occupancy on some of these weekend uh, sailings. So you can imagine that uh, for a time, these ships, probably for their first 10, 15 years, were, uh, you know, queen of the seas there for a while. Although uh, within about a decade of these ships uh, having been launched, uh, all cruise ships started coming out with balconies and uh, and more amenities. But that's the way of the world, isn't it? Uh, you're constantly improving and uh, making things different. Another thing, too, that uh, keep in mind that they'll uh, be stripping out of here the showroom equipment, all the lighting, the sound systems, um, the uh, you know any machinery they can get out of the kitchens. Uh, if they've installed in the last couple of years new dishwashers uh, and, and new other kitchen equipment, they will be literally, they would have been in the last few months uh, disconnecting it all and getting it ready for uh, transport to reuse on other ships. So there's a lot of uh, value being taken out of these ships right now by Carnival to utilize for the rest of the line. But unfortunately, the days are over for uh, sailing with passengers for these uh, workhorses of Carnival. They've uh, more than earned their due and their keep, but uh, with the future the way it is and, and the way the world is changing, their days are over and uh, we have to move on to the newer ships. Anyway, there you have it. That's the latest uh, news that came out today. Uh, looks like it's official. Carnival has not confirmed it officially, but the... Uh, the uh, spotters out there are definitely seeing what they're seeing, knowing what they're knowing, and some of the leaks coming out of the uh, shipyard are confirming that, yes, indeed, these ships are being stripped out for uh, scrapping, and that's the end of the story for these guys. Thanks again for following my channel. Thank you, all of you who are subscribing. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Give my videos thumbs up if you like them. Let me know your thoughts and comments. Uh, we'll talk to you next time, everybody. Stay warm, stay safe, stay healthy. And uh, we'll see you next time on Traveling with Bruce. Goodbye, everybody, and take care.